entertainment to ring in the new year on BBC One. At ten past eight, Birth of the Beatles, the rise to fame of the most famous rock group in the world. Love, love me do, you know I love you. A feature film recapturing the early days of uncertainty and the determination of the man who steered the band to international success. At 10 o'clock, Pick of 80. A light-hearted look at 12 months of television and some of the faces for whom 1980 has been a year to remember. At 11 o'clock, the good old days from the City Varieties Theatre Leeds, where top of the bill is Danny LaRue. Put me among the girls. Put me among the girls. And as Big Ben chimes at midnight, it's a happy new year in traditional style from Scotland. Rounding off a year of entertainment on BBC One. In two minutes, Nancy Lopez Melton plays Jerry Pate in tonight's round of our international golf challenge, Men vs. Women. First, the news headlines with John Edmonds. Talks aimed at settling the metro strike at BL's Longbridge plant have broken down. Management and unions were at the London headquarters of the conciliation service ACAS all day. The management offered to review the cases of the men dismissed after the so-called riot last month, but the union hasn't agreed to call off the strike. There's to be a mass meeting of the strikers on Sunday, and the company has said that if men don't turn up for work when the Christmas break ends on Monday, they'll be sacked. British Rail has announced tough restrictions to prevent violence by soccer fans travelling to the England-Scotland Soccer International at Wembley in May. During a six-day period around the game, all seats on trains from Scotland to London will have to be reserved, and there'll be a ban on alcohol. British Rail also want a strong police presence at stations throughout the six days. The United States has rejected Iran's call for a £10 billion deposit in return for the release of the American hostages. President Carter gave his decision to the Algerian intermediaries who have been shuttling between Washington and Tehran trying to break the deadlock. And the war of words between the two countries has continued. Yesterday, President-elect Ronald Reagan condemned the Iranians as barbarians and the Speaker of the Iranian Parliament has responded by denouncing America's leaders as thugs and bloodsuckers. In southern Italy, police have stormed a maximum security prison at Trani on the Adriatic coast and freed 18 guards held hostage by prisoners. 13 people, including...